All right, well, Marcel and I were once again in Tag Balaran all day yesterday. Another day of leaving when it's dark and coming home when it's dark. Uh, this is what the guys got done here. We've got all these boards up now. All we need to do now, I guess, is uh, get these posts sawn out of the way. Those posts there from uh, Charlie's playpen. There's three of them. Obviously, can't have them sticking over the the height of the uh, floor joists. I'm gonna go in. Well, first of all, I've got to go look at the radar and see if we're gonna have a window of a couple of days here of no rain, because that's what we need. It rained. Tatai says it rained all day yesterday. Not hard, uh, just a, a really light rain, but all day. And uh, we can't have that. We're going to uh, get the flooring in. What I want to do, I'm going to check the radar, and if we've got a little window here of dry, of a dry period, um, I'm going to get a stapler so that we can staple up that insulation staple it in place. Um, I don't want it sagging. I don't want to, I want it to be uh, in place uh, snugly. I don't want to look up. It'll, it'll bug me every time I look at it if it's uh, drooping, drooping down in between these rafters. So I'm going to just get a, a hand stapler if I can find one and uh, get that in place. I guess if we're if we're still looking at rain, uh, Tata can Tata and the guys can work on these stairs. We just have to wait until there's a there's a, a dry spell coming. But it's looking good. We were obviously getting down to the the lesser wood. That's not a piece there that I would have liked to have used if I had uh, my druthers. But it is, they are on 12 inch center, so except for that one. That one's definitely spaced too far. I hope Tatai measured those out and spaced them correctly so that the plywood fits. It's not even something that I thought that I would have to remind him of. But I can tell that's like a 14, 14, 16 inch spacing there. Like 8 or 10 inch spacing there. Oh yeah, I hope so. I hope it's right. Because we're not going to be cutting up this plywood to get it to fit. If it doesn't fit, we'll move the boards to where they're supposed to be. Right, well, the guys are continuing on here. They're putting in a center board here and one there as extra support for the plywood. I don't really think it's necessary, but Tate wants to put it in. I I don't know. I'm just I'm just holding my tongue. We're also going to need just what they're doing all along that far edge for the. It's just going to be a, a rat hotel up there. If I was going to do these, I would have offset them so that they're all they can all easily be driven from the side rather than toenailing them in. Now, of course, that wouldn't make it. It would leave an offset line rather than a straight line, which is what they've done. But you know, I don't think it's necessary in the first place, but 
I'm giving Tatai a free hand on this. And when we do this other side, uh, Tatai is going to give me a free hand. I'm going to be the foreman and they're going to be the laborers and I'm going to show them the western way to put this up. Put on a wood ceiling. We're into this. Let's see. Today's Saturday or Friday. What the heck is today? Today's Friday. So be four days to get this, five days to get this frame up. Using twice as much wood as necessary for the header boards and just, I don't know. Uh, when we do this side, uh, there's going to be in watch and learn mode. What's going to hold us up now? I still haven't looked at the weather to see what we're looking at weather-wise. Um, what's holding us up after they get these boards on? Look, I'm not going to put this roof on until I'm sure of clear weather for a few days. But right now, we can't find a chainsaw guy to make us. There's that chainsaw guy. Where? The the guy. He has a new chainsaw. He has a new chainsaw. Yeah. So he said it. We need. need, need, need. No, well, we need him. Yeah, the barangay could go out here. Yeah. Okay. We need two by tens at least. We need wood for the stairs. Yeah, we need one. Today, yeah. Now. I asked Tatai a week ago. Told me Tatai knew a week ago we needed those boards. Okay. So we need uh, we need two by tens or twelves. Either two by twelves are going to be hard to come by here um, for any kind of wood because it's basically cut down as fast as it grows, faster than it grows. But um, if we don't have a window of several days of dry weather, then. Uh, we can at least get the stairs done by this Saturday. Because I want to get the insulation up, the plywood down, and get it painted before, and not have it rain on it during any of that time. And the drying time for the rubberized paint. And that'll take three days, I would imagine. <laughs> I don't have a tarp to cover it with. So it's got to be all done in one shot. Alright, well they finished up... I think they're finished up everything except for the insulation of the plywood. I did look on the satellite. Uh, it's looking like clear weather for the next several days after tomorrow. Uh, we're right in the middle of a little low pressure area right now. Yeah, but when I looked at the satellite noonish, uh, it looked like we were uh, going to get a break starting tomorrow. So we'll get the insulation on, get the plywood down, and uh, get it painted. Man, that sounds like a lot to do tomorrow. I don't know, we may not do that tomorrow because I want to get it all done in one day or two days and tomorrow's Saturday yeah. and I don't want to take the chance of it raining on Sunday maybe we will wait until Monday to get this on what you got, Did you, are you cooking there lady? What, what are you making there? pork chop and this pork chop and that? what's that? bok choy Bok choy? Yeah. Is that bok choy with sardines? No. Pork also. Pork. Chop chop pork. 
Mm -hmm. This is pork and pork tonight, huh? Yeah. And the most important thing. And the most important thing? Yeah. Which is what? Rice. Rice, uh, of course. <laughs> the most important thing. Yeah. So, uh, we're ready to proceed, but whether or not we will, that's a different story. I was looking for a big hand stapler today, you know, the kind that you, it goes clack clack when you do it like that. No one has one, of course. So I got this one uh, to staple the insulation in place until we can get the, the plywood over it, just so it remains nice and snug. Um, don't know how that's going to work, pretty small staples, but uh, we'll get it figured out somehow. Alrighty then, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.